Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. This time I am back outside and I am doing a refresh on my barbecue area. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to just slowly ease into the video, share an update on the veggies and herbs that I planted uh, several weeks ago. Everything is growing in lovely. This is the spinach here. I'm just giving everything a nice water. This is earlier in the day. And after I finish, you know, watering everything, we're gonna move on over to uh, sprucing up the wooden uh, wall that's in my barbecue area. So I hope that you guys are having an amazing week and happy Friday. So we're gonna get started. So we are fully taking advantage of this beautiful sectional that we added uh, a couple of weeks ago to the patio. So if you have not caught up on all of my um, spring 2022 projects that I've been doing out here with decorating and planting, check out the playlist. I'm going to have it linked inside of the description. Um, I also did a marathon video last Friday. I'll link that as well so that you can take advantage, catch up, and just enjoy all of the outdoor content that I've been sharing um, this season. I really do enjoy sharing this type of content and you guys have also been enjoying, so it's a win-win for both of us. Um, I do want to introduce myself. If you are new to my channel, my name is Daphne. I want to welcome you and then welcome back all of my loyal subscribers. So I hope that you guys are enjoying your week and a happy Friday. So this is the area that we're going to be working on. This is on the right hand side of the house if you're facing the house. This has our barbecue. We built that slat wall several years ago and it actually has two planters at the bottom and two benches on the side. We did a DIY and actually that was probably one of the first DIYs that we did outside. We did that, we did a bench in the back which I showed you previously and then also the gardening box which I planted the uh, spinach in. So slowly we've been changing the stain over to the gray color the same as we stained the pergola. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. But before I get started with staining, I just wanted to cover up the grill. This is the old grill cover. We're gonna be putting on a new black grill cover that I purchased from Amazon. And I'm gonna link all of the products that I've been using and showing you in the video in the description. So just make sure that you stop down to the description if you're interested in any of the items that you see here today. So we are going to be just cleaning up this area. It has been an area that has been collecting a lot of junk. You know, as I finish different areas, I've just been moving it over. So we're going to just go in and clean up everything here. And then we're also going to start on removing a lot of this ivy. Now, I mentioned previously that my neighbor has a bunch of ivy on their side. Well, if you see up towards the wall itself, all of that ivy that's coming over the fence is from my neighbor's side. So every so often I have to go in and remove all of that ivy, but it is a huge project. And to be honest, I don't do it as often as I should. So we're just gonna start on a small portion today. And then in a later video, I'll share more with you but it is a big project, you know, that I have to make sure that I tackle.
Okay guys, so the question of the video is what are you doing this weekend? Do you have any projects that you've been putting off that you're going to be able to tackle? This weekend I'm so happy that we are not traveling. Alex doesn't have a tournament. So he does have a game uh, tomorrow, which is Saturday. So we are going to be going to his baseball game. But other than that, we are just going to be chilling out at home. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're doing this weekend. this happened to be this past weekend when I was able to apply all of the stain other than that this whole past week all the way up until today which this is Friday when I'm doing this voiceover and the video is going to be released today as well is the only day that it was not raining so I was racing against time I was working you know at the in the evenings to be able to finish up this video for you I actually did a second coat of the staining which I did not film but it did get a second coat
So I'm just giving you a close up look of the planter which we're going to be refreshing with new potting soil and we're going to be putting in a super tunia from Proven Winners and we're also going to putting in some fertilizer and we're going to top it off with a little mulch. Now this little spot is my favorite area. I'm able to sit out here. I'm gonna show you a clip in a little while of me just relaxing and taking in the morning so I can sit over here, I can sit on the patio. I have so many different little areas that I can sit, on, sit in and take advantage of the beautiful uh, space that we've been creating out here. So this is the next night after work. I decided that I was going to plant up some of these uh, canna lilies, which honestly I have forgotten about um, that I hadn't planted them up this summer yet. So I am going in and hopefully I did not kill these. I'm going to just take out a patch of them and plant them in the planter. So because I'm doing this after I had already planted the super tunias, I'm just going to be moving the super tunias up a little and we're going to be putting these tubers in towards the back and hopefully we're going to cross our fingers and hopefully they will bloom and they will be absolutely beautiful the way that they have been the past several years. So I just wanted to share with you guys, um, today I decided um, since we got a break in the weather that I was going to hang these planters that I had purchased at Amazon. Soon I will be putting like little herb plants in here, but for now we're just putting the planters out and we're going to think about you know what type of herbs that we're going to uh, put into them. I'm just giving you a close up look of the brackets. They hold so well to the wall and then they came with these uh, four inch uh, planters that we're just going to pop in.
I am so happy that I have another little spot to just relax in the morning and have my coffee. So I just want to thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you a blessed weekend.